Welcome back. Today's lesson is about participle adjectives. Participles come from verbs. So the word starts out as a verb, something like interest, and then you add an ing, interesting, that's the present participle, and interested, that's the past participle. I put those on the board right here so you can easily see them. The present participle will be the verb plus the ing, and the past participle would be the verb plus the ed. Most of the time, sometimes it's en, and sometimes the past participle is an irregular verb, which you just have to learn. So there are three uh, ways to learn this. The first part is about emotions. So I'll just put A right here. It's about emotions. So if you have the emotion, you would say, for example, I, I am interested. I am interested, and I put the ED on the end. Why? Because I have that emotion. I am interested because the movie is interesting. Now the movie doesn't have any emotions, so the movie actually gives me the emotion. So this is the rule. If you have the emotion, it's ED. If you have the emotion, which means you have to be a person or an animal in order to have an emotion. So you would have the ED on the end of those words that describe a person's emotions or an animal's emotions. ING is when something gives the emotion to you. Uh, like say another example would be, I'm bored because the class is boring. Or how about I'm confused because the directions were confusing. So the directions give me that feeling, I -N uh, ing, the directions are confusing, but I have the emotion, so I am confused. So have the emotion, ed, give the emotion, ing. So that's the first difference between the past participles. The second one, or the past and the present participles. The second one, I'll call this B, is when the object does the verb. Let me do an example. How about uh, everyone, everyone was sad, A-D, on the losing team. The team lost the game. Okay, the losing team lost the game. So the way that you do this one, it's not going to be a lost team. The team loses. So what you do, because this word is the object, O-B-J, object, okay, uh, everyone, the losing team, is the object. This is the uh, participle right here. If the object does that verb, then you put I-N-G on the end. Did the team lose? The answer is yes, the team lost. That's why everyone is sad. So the team, let's say losing team. Whereas if you look at this one, the children found the lost dog. Found the lost dog. Now this is not the present participle, this is the past participle. As I said before, some of these are irregular. Here's an irregular one. Did the dog lose? The answer is no. The little boy lost the dog, but the dog didn't lose. So the object here, OBJ, the object did not do this verb, and therefore it's in the past participle form. The third part here, if I have room to write this, I think I do, C. Okay, the C is when something is happening at that time. For example, um, maybe I'll just say these. Uh, if the snow is falling, you say, the falling snow made everything look white. But if the snow is already on the ground, you would say, the fallen snow is 30 centimeters deep. So the one is happening at the same time. The falling snow is happening at the time that I'm saying that. The fallen snow, well, it snowed yesterday. It's not snowing today. So the falling snow, I-N-G, the falling snow is, so oh, let's just say beautiful. The falling snow is beautiful. It's falling right now. So when, when this thing is happening right now, it is the ing. Once again, which I will circle, ing, okay? So with those three little rules, you can remember whether the 
participle is a present participle or a past participle. Bye for now.